I'm Dr. Jonathan Coleman. I'm the director of the Faulkner Morgan Archive here in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, and we're getting ready to launch our new program, Pride of Place, Lexington's LGBTQ History, which is a self-guided walking tour uh, featuring over a dozen stops in Lexington uh, where our city's LGBTQ history happened. We are now standing outside of this historic marker that commemorates 224 East Main Street and its importance to Kentucky's LGBTQ history. In fact, it is the first historic marker in the state of Kentucky uh, that celebrates our Commonwealth's LGBTQ story. We're sitting here in Phoenix Park. This has been a site of hospitality in Lexington since its earliest days. There was a tavern here before 1800. After that tavern burned, a hotel was built here called the Phoenix Hotel, and the Phoenix Hotel would operate on this site until the 1970s. Uh, and the Phoenix Hotel had a reputation, especially its lounge bar, um, as a place where queer people could congregate if they were discreet. We're outside 472 West 2nd Street, and in 1970, this became home of the Lexington Women's Collective. They had consciousness-raising groups, uh, female-led events, all-female music shows, for example, uh, and they drew women from across the state to come here uh, and sometimes live here. The Pride of Place walking tour brochure will be available throughout the city, uh, including the Lexington Visitor Center. So now when someone walks into uh, the Lexington Visitor Center visiting our city, one of the things we'll see alongside all the other great things to do in the city uh, is a tour specifically about Lexington's LGBTQ history. And that will signal to that person that Lexington is a safe, affirming, welcoming place for queer people.